Who was Martin Feldstein to conservative economics? Well, Tom, I mean, he was a giant, a giant of the academic world and a giant in politics and policy. Incredible, incredible career. And respected by liberals as well. Sure, across the board. And 79 years old is, is way too young, real tragedy. Um, but, you know, he, he left a, a mark and in, in a very right. positive way. In the public stewardship of policies, I think of Rick Mishkin up at Columbia saying all these economists got to dive into policy. He did, and he did it through your shop. What did he do? To your magazine. So Marty was actually our chairman for uh, more than a decade and was always marked by uh, prudence and responsibility and benevolence. And what I mean by that is he wanted to get the economy in the country working as much mm -hmm. as possible for as many people as possible and produce as much stuff. And he tried to use reason to achieve that. And he was always concerned not to do things that would be counterproductive, but to achieve the best long-term right. effects for the most people. And, and he was a mensch. And that was really, that's the kind of applied economic right. expertise that we need more of in the country today. His excellence, and this goes, I had lunch one day with Anna Schwartz and Michael Bordo over at your shop. Anna must have been 93, extremely elderly. And what was so great about her work and Professor Feldstein is there was no nostalgia. They did look at history, but Marty Feldstein was immediate into the future in every conversation. Absolutely. And he basically, he used his knowledge of history and his knowledge of theory to inform his response <clears throat> to current problems. And that kind of broadly educated general intellectual who wasn't just simply right. taking algorithms and putting them onto, you know, into models, but understanding the full economy and the full effects of things over the long term, uh, that's why he was the giant that he was. Michael Darda, we've lost Pete Peterson, Paul Songist, way too early years ago on the debt and the deficit. Feldstein is, is all of them. Now we have a debt moved out. Are, are we, are these, these fiscal hawks, these deficit giants, are they ever going to see the deficit come in? I mean, Tom, it looks pretty bleak. You know, fiscal conservatism looks dead and buried. So now both parties basically have the, right. the view that you spend, you don't really have to pay for it. And so here we are. So, you know, what Marty represented in terms of fiscal rectitude uh, unfortunately, uh, seems to have escaped us. And maybe it will return at some point because we'll be forced to deal with it. But at the moment, <clears throat> here we are, deficits rising at full employment. So, you know, hard pressed to find an economic theory except for maybe MMT that advocates such a thing.